hope this is centered. Here, you scoot over this way a little bit. Which way? That way. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey, what is up? This is Jacob, and today I'm here with my friend Brett, and me and him are going to be doing a two truths and a lie video. I'm sure you guys have seen this type of thing before. I wrote down three facts, or three facts. Two of them are true, one of them is false, and he has to guess which one is false. He did the same thing, and vice versa. So, let's go. You can go first if you want. Okay. Oh, you, I, you didn't write them down, you just remembered them? I spent a lot of time on these, so they're pretty <laughs> thought out. Okay. The first one uh -huh. is when I moved to Florida when I was a little boy, I was attacked by a lizard. <laughs> just randomly? Yeah. Okay. So I was at my Uncle Jeff's house in Lakeland, Florida, and my dad said, go ahead, pick up the lizard. It won't bite. And it bit me on my finger and wouldn't let go, no matter how hard I shook my hand. <laughs> Second one is this season. One of my teammates found a girl, and got her on Snapchat. Uh -huh. She sent him a Snapchat, and soon after that, he figured out it was not really a girl. <laughs> what? Story. Number three. I was at the beach tanning because I'm very white. <laughs> Probably the whitest kid anyone knows. <laughs> I fell asleep and was, I woke up because a crab had crawled onto me and pinched me on my right nipple. <laughs> oh, wow. I told you. Yeah, these are tough. I don't know. Uh, they're all very believable stories. <laughs> and so I don't know which one would be, uh, be false. However, I think I'm going to have to guess that the, the Snapchat story was false. That is true. That's true? Ah, what? Say hi to Ginger for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now it's my turn to... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's a tornado. In there. Okay, so now it's my turn to read these stories. These are pretty on. well thought out as well. Okay, so the first one is, when I was 18 years old, uh, you rode down on a bike to my house at 1 a.m. wearing nothing but a scuba mask and a snorkel and started to dance around outside my front door. <laughs> so I pretty much have a 50-50 shot because I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that one was obviously just a joke because <laughs> oh my <laughs> Why does this game? <laughs> okay, that one was obviously just a joke because if it involves him, he's obviously going to know if it's true or not. But no, that actually happened last night. That really happened. I'm going to insert that clip now. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, I don't know. I was laughing pretty hard. The snorkel and mask were necessary because it had been storming all night. <laughs> Here are the start of my actual real three facts. Okay, so the first one, the first trip, the first time I'd ever been in a real plane or, and flown was when I went to uh, New York last year. The second fact is that I've never taken a drum lesson in my life. Never, ever, ever. And the third one is... Throughout all of high school, I only got the dean called on me once. So, so out of those three, which one is the lie? Well, I've known you since I moved here, and I know that you taught yourself the drums because you're just uh, so smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that is true. I uh, I never take I've never taken a drum lesson in my life. So I have a 50/50 shot here, and I'm gonna say that the lie is the first time you flew on a plane was to New York. Ah, I honestly thought you were going to choose the Dean one, but but yeah, that is correct. Uh, flying to New York was actually the third time I've ever been on a plane. My hometown has this air show thing once a year, and I had done that twice, so I'd been on a small plane, flown around the city twice before, so yeah. And the reason I got the Dean called on me is because the first two years of my high school, they had a rule where regardless of what shirt you were wearing, it had to be tucked in. And one day, I'm sitting down in class, the bell rang, 
and I stood up to walk out of class and literally the teacher noticed like immediately that my shirt had come untucked when I stood up and she was like oh I'm calling the Dean and I was like what really like I, don't know, I honestly thought that rule was so stupid because like I didn't even do anything wrong I just stood up and my shirt came untucked so referral expelled hope you enjoyed this video this was two truths and one lie it's been Jacob and Brett and I'll see you later Woo!